What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. I hope you're all doing well. Now I have a quick little tool review video for you today. So I've been using this Milwaukee 7-in-1 pliers for the last couple of months out on site. I picked it up, initially thought it might be a bit of a gimmick, but I wanted to try it out and see what it was like. So been pretty good so far, I'm pretty impressed with it, so I said I'd do a video on it. And if you're in the market for a pliers for your workshop that can do everything, then you might want to look at this, or if you're a professional electrician like myself, um, this tool has kind of surprised me. Now, I'm a big fan of Nipex, you guys will know that if you follow my channel. This is my Nipex pliers, I've used this, or I've had this actual pliers for almost 15 years now. It's my do-it-all tool, I use it for everything from stripping cables to cutting to cutting screws, all that kind of good stuff. But, I've been using this more and more lately. So is it a replacement for my Nipex? Let's jump in and have a look. Okay, so let's start with a quick close-up. Now I have my Nipex in the shot just as a comparison. So they're both just over nine inches long, or 235 millimeter pliers, which is perfect in my opinion. I like a slightly bigger plier, so I'm really happy with the length. Now, unlike the Nipex, this one is spring-loaded, so it has a little catch here to release it. And you can see those jaws are actually sprung. Now, one thing to point out with this as well, it's not rated for working on live cables. Now you shouldn't be doing electrical prep work on live cables anyway, but you shouldn't also then stick this in amongst live cables if you're working in a panel or something like that. It's not rated for it, unlike the Nipex, which is rated at a thousand volts. So there are different type of pliers. Now, it has seven functions. So what are the seven functions? Well, first off, it's obviously a pliers. It's also a reamer. I'll show you all this in action now in a minute. It's a wire strippers, a wire cutters. It's also a bolt cutters. It has a loop maker and a crimper. Now, I don't use a loop maker or a crimper. They're not the best in my opinion, but they're handy to have in a pinch. If you don't want to run and get a tool out of the van or something, you can and absolutely use them. I don't ever use a loop maker. I just like to use the pliers for that function. But the reamer is quite good. The strippers are excellent. The wire cutters are great. I don't use the bolt cutters, but for me, it, this is really just a prepping cable tool. That's what I use it for. Um, the feel of it is pretty good. Um, I was impressed with the build quality. Everything feels nice and solid. No complaints there. So that's kind of a quick close-up of it. Like I said, it's a seven and one pliers. It'd be an ideal one if you just wanted one pliers for your workshop to do all the work, or uh, as I shall demonstrate for you now, preparing cables. This is an absolutely excellent tool, and it's kind of taken over from my Nipex in that regard. Now it has some pros and cons, which I'll also get into in the demonstration. So let's get on and do some demonstration with this tool. Okay, let's go through the functions of this pliers, if the camera will focus on it, there we go. So I'll give you guys a quick look at the markings first off. So hopefully you can see that, so it's 0.75 up to six square. This are six millimeter, this um, strippers will do. I'm not sure what the equivalent in American war gauge is, but the American version has the American war gauge markings on it. And you can see then the little bowl cutters, those three millimeter and four millimeter bolts. Again, I don't use that. This three millimeter hole also doubles up as a loop maker. Again, I don't use that. I do that with the pliers. I'll show you that again in action in a second. But I want to focus on the crimping tool, which is right there in the handle. You guys can see that there. It's quite a large one, so you know it's only for larger crimps. It might get you out of a hole if you're in a bit of a bind. You could do some crimping with that, but smaller cables, not so much. So if I get my other crimping tool here, and if the camera will focus on it, you can see it's about the same size as the 10 square. Let's get my camera to focus on it there. See there, there's a 10 square crimping uh, section on this dedicated crimper, so that's um, zero up to 2.5. We have four square, we have 10 square, and we have 16, so that's four to six square. So it's the 10 square size, you can see it's the same size as this one here, so it's not very versatile. I don't really use it, I have a dedicated crimping tool for that, so it's not replacing it in that regard. Now, where it does excel is in wire stripping, wire cutting, manipulating cables. Um, so let's get on and have a look at that now. Okay, let's get on to stripping some cables. After all, this is what these tools are designed to do. And it's what I've been using my Nipex pliers to do exclusively up until this point. But the Milwaukee, like I said, has been taking over. So I have a couple of different cable types here. We have the old type t &E. So everybody in the UK, you guys will know exactly what t &E is. Same stuff in Ireland and in the UK. We have the newer t &E. So the regulations have recently changed in Ireland. All cable now must be low smoke and fume insulation. So the t &E has got quite rigid and the outer insulation is quite 
tight, hard, and um, it's difficult to strip, and so are the inner cores because it's all like low smoke and fume, like I say. Bit of circular cable here, so that's just some NYMJ, and I have some various other types. So up until this point, I would have used my pliers to do everything. So the whole point of just using your pliers for everything, it's one tool, you're not picking up a knife, you're not put, picking up a pliers, you're not picking up a wire strippers. Um, it's just the pliers to do everything. So it's just a case of catch the inner core, strip that back. That's that cable stripped and to strip the inner cores, just in case I do that. So this is how I would have done it with my Nipex pliers, nice and simple. The only thing you gotta watch out for, as I said in previous videos, if you're stripping with the pliers and if you pinch that inner copper core, like I'll do now, just put a little nick in it. If I then bend that back and forwards a few times, you can see that snaps off. That's an absolute disaster. So you really have to be careful if you're going to use your pliers to do everything, um, not to pinch that inner core, but that's just practice. For manipulating cables and doubling back, excellent, does the job. So for stripping this, it's pretty similar. One thing I really like about the Milwaukee is this cutters is extremely sharp. It gives a really clean cut across the end, which is great. But for twin and out, it does just as good as my Nipex. So grab the earth again, strip that back, peel the outer sheet, cut that. Now this is where it really excels. I have to say it's really impressive how it strips cable. So just put in the right cable size for in 1.5. It's literally just a pinch and it strips immediately. And there's no danger of catching that inner core. Now the reason I didn't have a wire strippers before was because I didn't like swapping from my pliers to my wire strippers. Now I don't have to, it's a pliers and wire strippers and cutters all in one. And for manipulating cable, it's pretty good. It's not as good as the Nipex, I will say. You have to squeeze a little bit harder. There's a lot less leverage on the end of a longer pliers than a kind of a more squat pliers like that. But it still does a good job. Now, a quick mention of the loop maker while I have it here. I don't ever use a loop maker. I don't ever see the point in them. So you just put that through there, just like that, and you bend it over. And then that's your loop made, but you know, it's kind of superfluous. You can just make a loop with the pliers just as easy. So loop makers, yeah. I mean, that's 10 times easier than trying to shove it through a hole. Now, this is another area where it really excels. So this round type cable, I would have had to use previously a knife to strip this, to run that around, snap the core, pull it off to get at the inner cores and then use my pliers. But with the Milwaukee, because these jaws are so sharp and overlapping and nice and big, I can actually just ream the outer sheet with this, snap that all the way around and strip it. So now I've eliminated my knife from the process, which is down one tool which is absolutely perfect, which is what I like. And again, for stripping this cable, extremely fast and extremely easy. So you get the picture. Now this is where it also excels. This is the low smoke and fume stuff. So it's a lot like the SWA that we've already had. Stripping the inner cores and outer sheet is a real pain in the backside. This stuff tends not to strip as easy, but the Milwaukee does a great job on stripping this. Makes it nice and easy. This is six square. So you can see it's quite tough to get off, but uh, this gives you a nice clean cut with no danger of breaking into that inner core, like I said. Still quite tough. So if you can see, if I was to do that now with my Nipex, it's just not happening. I have to use a knife on this cable. And because all domestic cable is like this now, it means I have to use this pliers in conjunction with a knife, which is why the Milwaukee has really taken over. Because the wire strippers just makes this that little bit easier for stripping. And like I said, it's a nightmare of stuff to get stripped off properly. Even the Milwaukee is struggling there. There we go. But it's still one less tool. So yeah, every cable in a house now is made of this stuff. So you can imagine making off a fuse board in a house now takes a little bit longer because this cable is a lot more offensive. But you can see that it's eliminated the knife from stripping cable. I can now do it all with this, which is quite nice. Just a quick close up then on different types of cable. So here's some 2.5 stranded cable. 
again it strips that very easy so you can see the various strands and that hopefully it's coming out on camera and it's nice and easy then just to twist those strands up with this pliers the spring in it took a little bit of getting used to i have to say i was far uh i find it still find it far easier to manipulate cable with my nipex but um, for stripping this cable even this stuff now is low smoke and fume so you have to use a wire strippers so having a pliers and wire strippers all in one is very nice so like i say it does up to six square so this is actually 16 square panel flex one of the really nice things is when you're crimping this or when you're putting lugs on it you get such a nice clean cut across the end of this cable with these cutters i have to say that's what really impressed me it's very flat and a very clean cut and this stuff is heavily stranded so when it comes to stripping this normally you would have to use a knife to score this again but because of the cutters that are in this are so sharp you can actually just score it with this guy again just snap it all around and that allows you to strip that. And you can see how heavily stranded panel flex is. It's stranded, so it's actually quite flexible. That's the whole idea. But you get such a lovely clean cut then across all them strands, as you can see. So very nice indeed in that regard as well. Okay guys, so there we go. That's a demonstration of the pliers in action. Quite good. And it is going to become a mainstay in my tool belt. I can highly recommend this thing. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate the bolt cutters. Very, very simple. Just trade in a 4 mil bolt and snap it. Trade in a 3 mil bolt and snap it. Crimping tool as well. Wouldn't really use it. It's not really my thing. Um, the loop maker again i've showed you that in action it's not absolutely necessary so i would call this more of a five and one pliers rather than a seven and one pliers but you can see just how good it is now i would highly recommend this for anybody in maybe if you're an auto electrician or if you work, work on cars motorbikes that kind of thing this is a great one to have in your tool kit anybody who's a hobbyist as well if you do a small little bit of electrical work making sure it's up to code and that you're staying safe of course i don't recommend you do any electrical work unless you're competent to do so but if you wanted the pliers in your toolbox to do everything this is a great one um, as I've demonstrated it's great for stripping cables manipulating cables it's not for working on live cables so do not use this to go near any live cables guys all right it's not rated for it it's not fully insulated like a nipex this one obviously has exposed metal in the handle and stuff that you can come in contact with so it's not for that purpose but for everything else it's absolutely brilliant i love it especially for that new type low smoke and fume cable where you have to use a wire strippers or a knife there's no way around it this one has really uh yeah i really liked it out on site and i highly recommend it for any professional electricians out there who are looking at a pliers have a look at this one guys it's the all-in-one pliers very very good and in around 35 euros it's not that expensive as well and it's pretty well made so that's it guys i'm going to get out of here now hopefully you've enjoyed that review that's my new pliers it's going to sit in there alongside my nipex i can't get rid of that i have it for so long but yeah the milwaukee 701 pliers is now a mainstay in my tool belt that's it guys i'm going to get out of here now i shall See you in the next one. Take it easy.